This training video will show you how to do a more complex event configuration. From the main SpeedNet race management software screen, click on the second icon down, Configuration. We're going to use the class Modifieds and we're going to create a new configuration. So we press New Configuration button and that brings up our event configuration wizard. We click Next and we're going to select a name for this event. We're going to call it a complex configuration. All right, now we need to take the available run types here on the left hand side and move them over to the right in the order that we're going to run the events. So we're going to start out with the heat races and I can double click that to move it over. Uh, the next thing we're going to have is a trophy dash. I could also drag and drop them over. Then we're going to have a concy and then a feature. So this is the order that we're going to have the events. The heats, trophy dash, then a concy, and then the feature. So we go ahead and click next so we can set up our heat race. Our start position determined by, we're going to change that to say look at the average of previous features. Once we select that, it's going to ask us the window of how many weeks back we want to look. So we're going to say to go ahead and look back four weeks. The minimum attendance in those four weeks, they had to have been here at least three times. And we're going to say that they must have raced in at least the last two weeks races. And that's going to determine our handicapping for starting. We're going to select the number of races as three. So that means we're going to have three heat races. Our lineups are going to be two cars per row and our point schedule will be standard. We're going to go ahead and select a sponsor and we're going to use that sponsor for all of the runs for this particular class because it's the class sponsor. Now the next section on the bottom is where the cars are going to transfer to. For this example we're going to say that the top two qualifiers from the heat races, so positions one through two, in all three heats are going to go directly to the feature. Okay, That means that positions 3 through let's say 99 for the rest of the field is going to end up in the consolation race. Now we also have a trophy dash thrown in there and for the trophy dash we're going to run just the winners of the three heat races. So for that we would select position 1 to position one. All right. So the first position from each of the three heat races is going to our trophy dash. Also the first two positions are transferring directly to our feature race. And then positions 3 through 99 or the remainder of the heat race finishers are going to go on to the concy. So now that we have that set we're going to click next. That brings us to our next race which is the trophy dash. Now the start position is going to be determined by the previous race, which is the heat race. We're only going to have one of these races. And again, the cars per row for lineups is going to be two cars per row and a standard points. Now, because the trophy dash doesn't count toward anything, and basically it's just for running for a trophy, I'm going to put down here that position zero to zero, whoops, are going to be moving to the on to uh, transferring on to other events. In other words, that the result of the trophy dash doesn't matter because nobody is going to go from the trophy dash to anything else. And then we go ahead and click next. Now we're at the consolation race, the concy. Let's say we're going to have two concies. All right, our start position is going to be determined by the previous race, which for most folks would have been the heat race. And then we're going to say how many more we want to go to the feature. Well, we already have six cars in there because we've taken the first two from each of the three heats. So we have six cars in the feature. And uh, let's say we want to have a field of, uh, let's say we're going to run 26 cars in the feature. So now that we have two concies, that means positions one through ten in each consolation race is going to then move to the feature. So then we click next and now we're at the feature race. We're going to have one feature race. Again, line them up two cars per row with standard points and then we click finish. Now SpeedNet is going to go ahead and build this event configuration and show us a graphic re representation of what that 
uh, event is doing. So we start out with a heat race. We're going to have three of them. Positions one, the pr top finisher in each heat is going to the trophy dash. Positions three to 99 are going to go to the Consi. And positions one and two, the top two finishers, are going to be transferred directly to the feature race. If you want to go in and adjust something, you can click, for example, let's say we want to adjust the consolation race. We click on the Consi button over here, and it will rebuild the configuration and allow us to change the consolation. We can click on Consi, and we can go directly here to the screen that lets us change that. Let's say we want to change that from the first 10 cars to we're only going to put the first eight cars in, and then we can close and save that and it will rebuild the event configuration and now we have cars 1 to 8 from each of the two consies is then going to be entered into the feature. And that's how to do a complex event configuration.